are the people who need to be lined up for the 8,000 2.6 diesel. Zach Weber, Jordan Stalniger, Bill Pickens, Allie Cat, and Tim Richardson. Zach Weber and his 94 Dodge will be the first puller. The rules we have the first puller in each class can decide at the end of the pull if they like that pull and want to keep it or if they want to drop down and pull again later. And it's only the first puller that has that option. His distance was 333.62. Three, three, 333.62. That's a good way to start. Jordan Stalniker. Jordan is in a Chevy, an 07 Chevy from Point Pleasant. Jordan is a new mother. She has three children now, and the little one is only five weeks old. So we will be cheering for Mama. Jordan's distance, 300.72, 300.72. Bill Pickens from Gallipolis in a 76 Chevy. Alley Cat, be ready. And then Tim Richardson. Okay, we have three more pullers in the 2.6 diesel. Then we have the 5,500 farm tractors. And I think we only have two pullers in that. The distance for Bill Pickens, 336.27. 336.27. Alley Cat will be next.
The distance for Alley Cat, three, five, zero, point forty five. At the moment, he's our number one puller. Tim Richardson is from Bidwell, Ohio. I forgot to mention that Alley Cat is from Evans, West Virginia. After Tim Richardson pulls, we will have the 5,500 tractors. And I think that Richard King is number one. The distance for Tim Richardson, three, five, seven, point ninety nine, and that will be the first place. Alley Cat will be second. Bill Pickens, third. Zach Weber, fourth. And Jordan Stolniker, fifth. In this class, we only have two pullers, Richard King from St. Albans, West Virginia, on a John Deere B, and Josh Offenberger from Waterford, Ohio, in an 88 Oliver. The 6,200 modified stock gas trucks will follow this class. The distance for Richard in the John Deere B, 199.02. Josh Offenberger from Waterford and his 88 Oliver will be next. The distance for Josh Offenberger, 300.52, 300.52. That means that Josh got first place and Richard got second. 
Our next puller will be the pullers will be in the 6200 uh, modified stock gas trucks. Dave Bigley from Longbottom, Ohio, is the only puller. After Dave pulls. The next class is the 6,000 farm tractors. The distance for Dave Bigley, 305.03. He obviously won that division. For the 6,000 tractors, Dan Warren from Whipple, Ohio is, num is in first place. Richard King will follow him, Richard from St. Albans, West Virginia. Pete McIntyre in a case 600 from Carrollton, Ohio. Josh Offenberger from Waterford, Ohio. So Dan Warren will be the next person up to the sled. was pulling a Massey Ferguson 95. Dan had a distance of 290.38. Richard King is up to the sled. The distance for Richard in that class was 193.44. 193.44. Pete McIntyre on a case 600 out of Carrollton, Ohio is next, followed by Josh Offenberger and an 88 Oliver out of Waterford.
the distance for Pete McIntyre out of Carrollton, Ohio, 280.69. 280.69. And the last pour in this class is Josh Offenberger out of Waterford. The distance for Josh Offenberger, 287.31. The results of that class, Dan Warren came in first, Josh Offenberger came in second, Pete McIntyre third, and Richard King fourth. Dan Warren, Josh Offenberger, Pete McIntyre, and Richard King. The next class is 9,500 altered farm tractors. There is an eight mile per hour speed limit and the sled horn will ring three times. If it's the third horn, they are disqualified. Okay, Colton Work is the first puller in this class, followed by Jonathan Hoffman, Robbie Alloway, John DeMeo, and Joe Clemens. Colton's distance, 267.32. Jonathan Hoffman from Leetart, West Virginia is next. The distance for Jonathan Hoffman, The distance for Robbie Alloway, 272.30. John DeMeo, 
from Marietta, Ohio is next, followed by Joe Clements from Malta. For John DeMayo out of Marietta, Ohio, 279.55. That's your leader so far. Joe Clements from Malta will be next. Joe Clements had a distance of 313.34. First place went to Joe Clements, second to John DeMayo, third to Robbie Alloway, fourth Dustin Hoffman, and fifth Colton Wirth. The next class will be the 6200 Cheater Gas. And we only have one puller in that class, Brandon Schaefer. Again, he was the only puller in that class, so he won. The next class is the 8,000 open dot diesel trucks, and we have eight pullers. Lane Caldwell from Middleport, Ohio, James Hall from Vinton, Ohio, and Michael Kesterson from Middleport, Ohio. Those will be the first three pullers. The distance for Lane Caldwell 274.12, 274.12. For James Hall of Vinton, Ohio, you're next on the sled. Michael Kesterson from Middleport, and then Brian Young from Longbottom. The distance for James Hall, 278.21, 278.21. Michael Kesterson is backing up to the sled. He's from Middleport.
for Brian or for Michael Kesterson, two sixty five point ninety eight. Brian Young from Longbottom is next. Nick Stolnicker and then Nick Durst. Those will be the next three pullers. Our sponsors for tonight, Mike Patterson of the Lawrence County Clerk of Courts, Lawrence County Commissioners, Hecla Water, Bethesda Services, Wingate of Rivers Edge, Central Hardware, Thoroughbred Construction, and I will give you the rest of them in a minute. The distance for Brian Young, 252.45. 252.45. Nick Stolniker from Point Pleasant is pulling up to the sled. Nick Durst, Bill Pickens, and Stanley Bowen. You need to be getting ready. The distance for Nick Stolniker, 321.89. 321.89. The last three pullers in this class, Nick Durst, Bill Pickens, and Stanley Bowman. Now's a good time to read some of the rest of the sponsors. Restoring Hope Recovery Care, Armstrong, m and Waste, Danny Sullivan Excavating, Randy's Potties, KB's Hauling, Joe Shearer, Kent Francis of Tri-State Trophy. For Nick Durst, 319.91, just about two feet shorter than Nick Stoniker. Stanley Bowman, you are the last puller in the class. For Stanley Bowman, 254.26. First place went to Nick Stolniker, 321. Second place to Bill Pickens, 319. Third place, James Hall, 278. Fourth place, Lane Caldwell, 274. And fifth place went to Michael Kesterson of 265. The next class we're doing 
is the 10,000 altered farm. Again, they have an eight mile per hour speed limit. The only way they'll know if they're speeding is if the horn blows, and if it blows three times, they're disqualified. The, in this class, we have John DeMeo from Marietta, Joe Clements from Malta, Robbie Alloway from Belpre, Jonathan Hoffman from Leetart, and Colton, Colton Work from Waterford. For John DeMeo, 251.43, 251.43. Joe Clemens is backing up to the sled. Robbie Alloway, Jonathan Hoffman, and Colton Work will finish out the class. The distance for Joe Clements from Malta, Ohio, 257.95. 257.95. The distance for Robbie Alloway, 258.57. 258.57. .57. Jonathan Hoffman and Colton Work, you need to get lined up. You will be finishing this class. The distance for Jonathan Hoffman, 244.69. 244.69.
The distance for Colton, 261.79. With a 10,000 altered farm, first place went to Colton Work, second to Robbie Alloway, third, Joe Clements, fourth, John DeMeo, and fifth, Jonathan Hoffman. The next class is the 8,000 uh, diesel, 20 mile an hour. If they go over the 20 mile an hour, they're disqualified. 8,500, 20 mile an hour class, the first three pullers, James Hall, Gordon Rhodes, Stanley Bowman. For James Hall from Benton, Ohio, 306 even, 306 feet even. Gordon Rhodes, Stanley Bowman, Lane Caldwell. Those are the next three drivers. The sled driver just told me they're going to reset the sled so James Hall will get to pull again. Gordon Rhodes had a distance of 280.46, 280.46. Stanley Bowman, Lane Caldwell, and Nick Durst will be next. James Hall, again, he pulled, and remember they reset the sled, so he pulled again and got 286.07, 286.07. The person pulling up to the sled now should be Stanley Bowman, then Lane Caldwell, and Nick Durst. had a distance of 274.86, 274.86. Lane Caldwell, Nick Durst, Nick Stolnicker, you are the next three. Zero. 270.60. Nick Durst, Nick Stonecker, and Clay Sawyers.
Nick Durst, 284.73. 284.73. Nick Stoniker is backing into the sled. Clay Soliers from Patriot, Ohio. And then James Hall in a blue Chevy. The first one he pulled was a white Chevy. Two different uh, trucks. For Nick Stoniker, 291.67. Clay Sawyers from Patriot, Ohio. I may be wrong, but I believe this is his first pull. So we will encourage him as he breaks into this sport. After Clay, we have James Hall in his blue Chevy then Brian Young, and then Michael Kesterson. For Clay Sawyers, 278.73, 278.73. That's a very respectable pull for your first pull ever. He's to be congratulated. James Hall, Brian Young, Michael Kesterson, you will complete the class. And then we have semis, and we only have one. Point three zero two eighty five point three zero. Brian Young out of Longbottom is backing into the sled with his ninety nine Dodge. Michael Kesterson from Middleport, Ohio, will be the last puller in this class, driving a, an O three Dodge and then I'll give you the results of this class. For Brian Young, 257.75, 257.75. Michael Kesterson from Middleport, you will be the last puller in this class. For Michael Kesterson, 281.43. The 8,520 mile an hour. Nick Stoniker is the winner. James Hall in the white Chevy is number two. 
James Hall in the blue Chevy, number three. Nick Durst is four. And Michael Kesterson is five. Jake Ganaway from Bidwell, Ohio, is the only puller we have. He will finish the evening for us. For the semi, he had a distance of 342.02, 342.02. Have a nice evening and be careful going home. It's been a pleasure working with you.